Hey, what's up, YouTube Universe? Back, welcome back out to the Suits Crafting Wood Shop. Today, we're just going to be doing just a quick update video. Just want to show you guys some of the cool things we've got coming on up out in the shop. I know it's been a while since you know you guys have actually seen me doing a video, and I am in the process of editing up some stuff. Um, I've been finding a little bit of time here, um, but you know sometimes things get cra crazy. What's the how's the saying go? Uh, Life is what happens while you're busy making plans, and I've made a lot of plans, and a lot of life has happened. So, but I, I'm out in the shop today. Just got done drilling up and gluing up some uh, redwood burl and some amboynia burl uh, for some pens that are going to be coming out here in the future. So you guys can look forward to seeing some more of those videos. I am working on getting those videos out to you guys. I know that you want to see them, and they'll be coming. So just be patient, stay tuned, and I'll be having those come out. But, camera cut out, not sure what happened. <laughs> so, got some things going on. I just want to show you guys that way you can get a feel for some of the stuff that's going to be going on out here in the shop. So, uh, I had to order two Slimline Gold Pen Kits because I actually completed an order. Did a set of matching Coco Bolo uh, Slimline Gold Pens. And they were really neat. The, the fun part about it was that they were a matching set. They weren't just like random pieces of coco bolo I had the exact same board and the board was you know an inch thick or so inch inch and a quarter thick and then I cut it and then split it and in doing so um, the two pieces were a quarter inch apart from each other their entire life growing up in that tree they were a quarter inch apart and those two pens out of that same wood you know they're matching they're a pair they're a set they have been together their entire lives and they can stay together their entire lives so I thought it was kind of a fun deal that we did up for that customer and so that was a fun one um, I enjoyed doing that one we're gonna be doing some editor ballpoint pen kits um, I've, I got some of these just to kind of have some fun with actually it's like they're they're a quick single tube design um, the cap is metal so you don't have to do any wood for the cap and I kind of liked them I thought that they would be fun and um, I'll probably throw some up on the website as well uh, you know you can find me at suitscrafting.etsy.com and we're gonna be doing up some of those I, I mostly just want to kind of test them out for some of the hybrid blanks that uh, I've made up just as a testing premise you know I was like I want to see if I can do hybrid blanks I had a whole bunch of leftover curly maple uh, from a former project that I did last winter which you guys didn't get to see um, but so I got some of those editor pen kits in order to take some of the scrap cut off of those curly maple that I stabilized uh, cast it into colored resin and we're going to be doing that up in some editor editor ballpoint pen kits so those will be fun I've got a fun one right here, which I'll set aside. You guys can see in a minute once I find the kit for it. Um, had to reorder some Sierras because I've got a couple of Sierra orders that have come out doing some tube-in uh, label castings. You know, cast them in clear, printed out a label of a design or an image, and then uh, they wanted those in Sierra Chromes, and so I had to restock my Sierra Chromes. So those will be coming out in the future. Those are going to be kind of fun. The blanks for those actually are casts are, are curing out in my pressure pot out in the garage right now. So those will be fun, and you guys will see those coming up in the future. Ah, here it is. So this is the one that I, I wanted to show you. So I had a, have a guy that I work with, really techie guy, and I, I love him to bits. He's really funny, um, just about as big of a smart aleck as I am and uh, he's really an entertaining dude and so I've been trying to talk him in like you know you, you keep saying you need a nice pen he's like oh yeah but I'll lose it which is what we always hear from customers oh I'll lose my pen well once you have your own pen you won't lose your pen and he's like he always wears a button up shirt that has a pocket for a pen or he wears a polo shirt where you can just slide it in between and so I mentioned that to him I go he goes well I did see a pen once with like a circuit board on it and he goes is that something that you'd be able to do? And I was like, dude, all you gotta do is say something because we've got ourselves a circuit board. Pick this up with this order. 
it was one of the only colors they actually had in stock. And when I told him about it, he's like, that's perfect because I actually like darker colors. He goes, do you have it in black? I was like, yeah, but they don't have it in stock, but I can get it in purple. And uh, he's like, oh, is that a dark purple? Yes, it is, dark purple. And so we've got a dark purple circuit board uh, for a Sierra pen. And then he wanted to do gun metal in black. So here's the deal, though. He didn't want to buy it until he saw it. That's fine. If he doesn't buy it, you guys will see it up on the website. Or if I like it, I might just carry it myself and show it off to all my IT buddies, and then I'm sure we'll be selling all sorts of them. Well, we'll see how it goes on. But uh, these are going to be a fun one. So these are carbine bullet pens. So there you can see the bullet parts in the top there. Well, maybe you can't because of the glare from my lights. But there's some of the bullet parts there in the top. And then the clip on this is an M14 carbine. So these are going to be a fun one. These are actually for some Navy SEALs that a buddy of mine knows. Um, he was actually in the Navy with them. And um, he worked with this guy for a period of time. So these are actually for a Navy SEAL um, for a buddy of mine. So he ordered this carbine twist pen. And then with that... I'm going to be doing a um, bolt action click pencil, which is going to be a fun one. And so they're going to be a matching set, and I put um, the Navy SEAL emblem on a label tube-in casting. So it's got the Navy SEAL emblem, the American flag waving in the background, and the guy's name in his rank and file, and United States Navy retired underneath on the bottom. It's going to be really cool. I'm really hoping that he gives me permission to show his name because there's not really too many ways that I can blur out his name um, you know, on screen because it's going to pop up in different angles and stuff. And so that would take a lot of editing hours just trying to blur out his name. So I'm kind of hoping that he doesn't say, yes, I need you to redact that. And, and I'll actually be able to show you guys that video because those are going to be a fun one. It's going to be a set, this carbine ballpoint pen kit and then that bolt action click pencil. So that's gonna be a fun one there too. So, and I picked up actually a couple of those because these things are so cool, gotta have one myself. Or if people like it, I'm gonna be doing up for some other folks. So we're gonna be doing that one up as well. Now on my last update video, which you guys should probably see over here or so, I mentioned that we're gonna be doing some dragon twist pens. I haven't heard back from my customer on doing this dragon pen. So I'm not sure if she wants it or not. So if she ends up not wanting it, and I've reached back out to her and said, Hey, uh, last we talked, you were interested in getting a dragon pen. Just curious if you're still interested. I haven't heard back from her. So if not, then that'll be available coming up here in the future. I might talk to a couple of my wife's friends who are big into dragons and say, Hey, is this something you're interested in? That way we can get that turned and have some fun with that, because I think that'll be a good one. I've got, oh, i got to grab something here. Stand by. And we're back. <laughs> so this one's going to be an interesting one. I, I, I'm looking forward to this one. This is a gear shifter pen. So this is a car themed. I had a gal. Her husband's really big into NASCAR and said, do you have anything NASCAR? And she's like, I know it's licensed and stuff. But, you know, it, it, do you have anything? And I was like, NASCAR is kind of hard to come by. It's licensed. So, yeah, it, it's not really something that that I can get for but got this gear shifter pen that we're going to be doing and this is really cool so it's got like tires tread and then the actual let's see you can't see it let me open it up here it's got a gear shifter knob works just like a bolt action rifle pen but instead of the bolt action rifle it's got a gear shifter on it it's really super cool so there it is, gear shifter knob, and it actually shifts into all of the positions. And it's just neat. It's really cool. And we're going to be doing that one in chrome. And then the her husband's favorite color is cobalt blue. And you guys can probably already see it behind me, but I'll get you a close-up of it here in a second. So her husband's favorite co color is cobalt blue. So I made up this cobalt blue blank, and it turned out fantastic it's awesome 
I'm so looking forward to turning this one. Um, so what this is, is this is uh, ocean blue um, alumilite dye with true blue, no it wasn't true blue, what was it? Turquoise. It was blue turquoise pearlex powder and then um, pearlescent powder. So this thing looks awesome. And my wife is like the biggest blue fan. Like she loves blues like this. And so when I pulled this out of the pressure pot, she just happened to be out in the garage with me. And she goes, ooh, let me see that. <gasps> Mine. And she tries to run off with it. It's like, no, <laughs> you've got to come back with that. <laughs> so, so we're going to be doing that one up for this customer. It's really neat. And so I've got actually the box out that has been sitting there hardening up. It's got about three more days left to cure before I can turn that one up. And so we'll be doing that one here very soon. And then while she was at it, she also ordered one for herself. I don't know if it was while she was at it or she said, well, I'm ordering one for myself. I better get one for my husband too. So we got two pens going to that customer. And so she also has one of these Chrome Sierras. So we'll toss that in there as well. And she's got one of the tubing castings that's currently casting out in my garage. So that's going to be all one order right there. Waiting to go. We're going to be offering these Eagle pen clips on my bolt action pens. And then they should also fit the... Uh, bullet twist pens possibly the bullet click pens I'm gonna have to test them and see but um, and I'm told that these will also work on the slimline pen kits but to me it looks like it's a little wide to be on a slimline pen so I'm gonna have to uh, grab one of my my already made slimlines tap it apart and see if that'll fit and if it does then I'll make these available on the slimline pens as well but these are just really neat. I really like this clip style that comes on the American Patriot pens. It has that same clip, but they made it so that it'll fit the bolt action pens. There we go. There's the angle I need. So it's got the American Eagle right there in the top. That bald eagle is such a beautiful, majestic bird. And then we've got the American flag coming down the clip like that. So those will be fun. And I picked those up. For that Navy SEAL buddy um, that my my buddy has so they're gonna be doing a big function here coming up real soon where they're getting a whole bunch of Navy SEALs together and they're gonna be having a big gathering and I'm going to be having some of my pens there possibly uh, for them to uh, oogle at so anybody use the word oogle anymore no idea leave your comments up you know comments below or vote right here it's oogling still a word people use uh, but so we're, we're going to be doing up some pens there. We're going to have some order sheets out for that possibly. And so it's something that we're going to look at. Those pens that we're doing, the pen and pencil set, uh, we're going to be presenting to them and saying, hey, what do you think about possibly having a table or something where we, these are set up? People can order some for themselves. So that's going to be something we're going to be doing. Those clips are going to be available for that. And I'm going to be throwing them up on my website. I ordered, um, I think, six of them. That way you guys can choose some of those. Speaking of the bullet pens, here is a cartridge bullet click pen. I just did one of these out of Amboynia Burl, and it looks fantastic. Just, the customer just picked it up just the other day. Um, I threw some photos of it up on Instagram, so um, I'll throw a photo up of it here uh, so you guys can take a look at it. But these cartridge click pens, these things are really neat. I'm going to have to make some more of these, and I'm going to be throwing them up on my site so you guys will be able to order those really soon. Oh, these are neat. Okay, so this is Easy Inlay Crushed Mother of Pearl. So I've got all of that Amboynia Pearl. It's got cracks and stuff in it, and then I've also got that piece of Robusta that I showed you guys in the last update video, and it's got cracks in it as well. So I picked up some of this Easy Inlay from easyinlay.com. Anyway, um, Scott Grove, uh, he runs this company, an awesome guy, he's got some really cute, cool videos, I almost said cute videos, some really cool videos, and this is some of the product that they have. This is 
um, boiled abalone shell that they then crush up and you get it in two different sizes. You get it in like a flake and you get it in a almost a powder, really, really fine crushed up powder. And so I'm going to be using some of this stuff to fill in the cracks and gaps in some of the pens that I'm going to have coming up here in the future. And so I'll pick some of that up for those. It's going to be some neat stuff. So you guys have that to look forward to. Um, I'll do make sure I do a good demonstration of how to fill it in. I'll probably do two videos. Um, definitely do the video where I do it on an actual pen. And then the video where I just demonstrate how to use just this product. So you, if you just want to see how to use the product, that'll be a, a real quick probably a five or six minute video where I show how to fix a crack in a pen and then I'll have another video where I'm just using it on pen so that'll be a fun one to do you guys can look forward to seeing that once I get some time to edit videos I'm gonna be testing out some new resin usually I use Alumilite but I've got some stuff where I need some really slow um, curing resin that seeps down in but last week when I showed you guys the uh, prickly pear cactus fiber. That's what this is for. So I'm going to be um, setting this stuff in that and then we will get this going because this takes 24 hours so it's going to seep down through all those pores, let all the air bubbles out and then um, it will work out a lot better than the Alumalite will with that prickly pear cactus. So picked up some liquid diamond, just a 12 ounce kit just to test it, see how well it works. All right, I'm gonna stop the camera and I'll pull all these out and show you guys what we've got in the rest of this box. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got different pen boxes. So we've got all the bullet pens that you guys just saw and we're gonna be carrying some of the pen boxes that can go with those. So any of anybody that's in the rifle world will look at this and go, dude, that's a Plano rifle case and that's what it's designed to look like is the Plano rifle case and so this thing opens up it's got three clicking points so the handle clicks it shut and then both of these side clicks click it shut so it's really a neat box and then it opens up and then inside will be your pen on display looking really nice inside of this box so we're going to be carrying um, some of those I got some just to kind of look at and show around to some of my customers and say, hey, is this something you're interested in? You know, and if it's something you guys are interested in, let me know in the comments section below. And maybe we'll get some more of these. So they come in OD green, black, and um, coyote tan. So these are kind of a cool box. I, I like the look of those, and I wanted to have them for all of the Navy SEALs at the convention. You know, if we get some table space for, for that. Um, where they can order pens, I wanted to have one of these available so they can look at it and say, hey, that's cool, I'd like to get that in a gift box. And I'll have that as well. We've got like this old style um, rifle case. This is what they used to ship rifles in. You know, not this small of a box, of course, but um, you know, a box similar to this. These are uh, rifle crates. So they used to open up the crate and inside you'd have 10, 20, 30 rifles, and in this case, well, it holds one rifle, at least one rifle pen. So it'll have one rifle pen sitting down inside the box right there, and then the foam holds it down in place, and then it's even got a little latch in there so that it doesn't open up and fall out. So it's really cool. Um, made looks like it's made out of pine, and then they even burned a little, give it a little bit of a antique look. So these are kind of a neat deal. I like those. Uh, they were fun. Uh, they'd go great with some of the bullet pens that we've got going. And then anybody that does rifles as well will also know these cases. So you get these cases. A lot of guys get them hunting. Um, when you're out hunting, you know, you put your scoped long rifle in here. Um, so you have the butt stock down here, barrel up here, and your scope has room to rest in this top section of the case. But instead of a rifle, this would hold your rifle pen and so um, we've got these cases set up we've got them in three colors coyote tan and then we've got black and green as well so black and OD green so these are gonna be a fun one and we even got some of these two pen inserts so instead of having the one pen you can have two 
inside the case. So these are going to be kind of fun. I picked this these up specifically for that Navy SEAL that I'm doing the set for. And then I'm going to talk to my customer and I'm going to tell him, look, if we get this thing to go through, one of these, free for you. And then um, I'm going to let him choose what color he wants and throw one of those inserts in. That way he can have his bolt action pencil and then his... Um, carbine twist pen in there so that'll be kind of a neat deal and so I'm looking forward to that he doesn't know that yet and I don't think that he watches my videos religiously so um, this will be a surprise for him so that'll be kind of fun so I'm looking forward to that as well let's see I think that's it don't think we have anything else going on that I can show you uh, like I said earlier I drilled up some Amboynia Burl I drilled up some my very last piece of, of um, redwood burl, actually. I've had these pieces of redwood burl in my shop probably since 2005. I, I did my first big order of um, pen wood and pieces and stuff. And kind of started just making pens just for fun. Um, and then started selling them when I saw, you know, there was a little bit of a market for them, but I was more in a scroll sawing back then, actually. So I didn't have a whole bunch of pieces. I just picked up a few here and there. But, yeah, I had probably six pieces of redwood burl when I first started making pens uh, more seriously and, and carrying them myself. And I actually just found the first bolt-action pen that I ever made, probably 2008, 2009. And, uh, and it was kind of fun. I found it, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Needs to have the finish redone on it. You know, it's been sitting in a box for a long time, kind of getting scuffed up and bumped up. And uh, the metal finish actually didn't hold up because the box that it was in had a lot of really heavy-duty uh, metal tools in it. So it, it got kind of ravaged. But the wood still looks great. But the, the metal parts actually got scratched up pretty good. So I'm going to actually refinish that and retouch it up and, and bring it back out because that was one of the first bolt action pens that I ever made and I carried it for a long time. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you guys how I refinish pens and stuff and remake them. So that'll be fun. But yeah, just just drilled the very last piece of the original wood uh, blank orders that I put in back in 2005 and uh, drilled up the very last piece of redwood burl from that order so it was kind of a nostalgic moment for me not that it matters much to you guys but you know it was a nostalgic moment for me so I'm going to leave it on that note thank you so much you guys for joining me out in the shop today this is Suits Crafting signing out hey one quick note be sure to hit that subscribe button I'll have it right down here for you and be sure to check out some of my other videos here on the sides left right wherever I want to put them I'll throw them on there but Come by the channel, see what we got going on, and I'll be sure to get as many videos I can for you coming up here in the future. Again, this is Suits Crafting out here in the woodshop. Signing out.